guys uh, hungry? Pretty hungry. This is so good. Isn't this good? Oh, forgot you're an asshole. Anyway, you're probably wondering what we are doing today. We are currently on our way to document somebody who we thought would be interesting to document. Apparently, they are looking for a way to gain psychic abilities that will allow them to talk to the dead. All right, let's it out. You ready, big guy? All right, we're having fun. So, uh, this house is somewhere nearby. I uh, honestly don't even know what to expect from this guy. Should, should we be armed? I, I, I feel like we should be armed. You, you have a knife, right? I swear to God, if it were up to me, Herculana would fire you! Richard, and I'm here for the document carrier. Yeah, come on in, make yourself at home. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is the weirdest thing I've ever done. Yeah, it uh, takes some getting used to. Well, uh, hopefully I'm interesting enough for you. I'm sure you will be. And this is called the talking head? Yes. What is this for? Uh... uh... That's a good question. Thanks. I should probably get rid of that dog food. I don't even have a dog. Anymore. Oh, okay. Um, what's with all the family photos, Terry? Oh, yeah. Uh, this used to be my parents' house. Uh-huh. Yeah, they, they died. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's okay. Yeah. Arson. Anyway, okay. so, how long have you guys been doing documentaries for? Um, about, about five years? Months. Oh, yeah. Well, you guys must be pretty popular, huh? Yeah, um, we're pretty popular. Cool. <laughs> I like him. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, this is my voodoo room. This is where I keep all my voodoo related things. You're gonna like this. You're gonna, you're gonna like this, alright? Okay. Yeah, alright? Right? Or are you, are, you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Good. <clears throat> this is a, this is a cool room. I'd say. Th thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I spent a lot of time on this room. Yeah. I worked really hard on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway, let me show you the next room. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Right behind you. All right. Okay. I must ask you guys to be very, very quiet. No, you don't understand. If you make one single peep, we are dead. Okay? Dead. Okay. 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 Okay, no, but seriously, like, if you make one single peep, we are fucking dead, all right? I'm, I'm, you, you need I, to promise me that you sound. cannot make a sound. I didn't sound. make a sound. You can't I make, a, make sound. a sound. I didn't make a sound. Shh, shh, Jesus Christ. You're speaking too loud. Look, Peggy promised me that you won't make a sound. Tired of people telling you that. Not. Pinky promise that you won't make a sound. Okay. Kiss that was fucking. Kiss it. That was fucking weird. Are right, you serious? Go. That's what everyone does. Here we go. The pinky promise. No, nothing. No, never mind. Okay, just do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell are you doing? Don't go in there. Do you have a death wish? Oh my god! Why are we opening the door? We're not gonna go in. 
Oh my god, dude. That was crazy. He almost fucking died. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Woo! Man, that was like a like a thrill. You ever the six serious? flags? That was like that was like that. Oh Are you serious? Man, come follow me. Um, alright. Please tell me you got the knife. Get the knife. safe we should be safe for a little bit yeah um we're just uh checking out the voodoo room you're right there so the next time the kitchen is my bedroom um i think it's a pretty neat looking room i'm ecstatic to see it oh it's actually pretty nice thanks did it myself of course my room is quote unquote normal. I don't want any of that creepy shit in my room. Who am I? Zach Bagans? So, uh, how long have you been trying to become a medium? For about two years now. Wow. That's dedication. But, uh, what made you want to speak to spirits? I don't know. One day I was just watching a scary movie and thought, it'd be cool to talk to ghosts. As well as see them. That's debatable. I mean, what if you wake up one night and there's a naked man covered in blood? A ghost man standing at the end of your bed. That'd be scary. I think it'd be scarier if you couldn't see me. You're right. That would be scarier. Remind me to get a night mask. So I named this one Peppa, and this one Maurice, and together they will keep the scary monsters away at night. All right, everyone, I'll be in my room if you need anything. Um, and good night. Not yet. I'm good now. Good night, everyone. Jesus Christ. You guys are the worst. Who even drinks smoothies? Dickheads. That's who. That's pretty good. So, do you have any women in your life? Or men? We don't discriminate on this channel. No, I don't actually. Gotcha. Gotcha. Gotcha! So, um, what's the plan for today? What do you mean? Like, uh, are you going to show us what kind of things you do, try to become a medium, like, what you're going to do here? Oh. Oh, well. You'll see.
Yeah, uh, this is a nice fire and all, Terry, but I just have one little question. How is this going to help you become a- OH MY GOD! HOLY SHIT, WHAT, what? THE HELL what? IS what? THAT?! What? OH MY GOD, YOU JUST THREW A FUCKING ANIMAL IN THE FIRE! Oh, where- but where'd you even get the body?! On the side of the road?! On the side of the road?! Yeah. There's a fucking bat! Okay, I mean, I don't know why you're freaking out Where's for. Arkelano? Oh my god. Arkelano! <laughs> So, um, why did you throw the animal in there? Well, according to this article that I read last night on how to become a medium daily, uh, when you throw an animal carcass into a pit of fire, the focus is supposed to be so strong that it creates a portal to the other side. So, when that portal opens, the possibility of becoming able to talk to the other side is higher. Okay. That sounds, um, what's the word I'm looking for um, here? Idiotic? That's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, well, you gotta eat those words right now, bitch. Here we go. Okay. Anything? Ah, oh, fuck. Huh. Damn it, nothing. So we're surprised. Totally honest. Yeah. You need a bigger animal. Wait. Terry, is everything you do to try and become a medium that fucking messed up? Well, I wouldn't say that was messed up per se, but you, you know. Per se. Well, I think most normal people would say that that was fucked up. Messed up. All kinds of messed up. Terry. Oh. Potatoes, tomatoes, you know? Come on. You, you you can't compare the two. Well, regardless, no, not everything is that messed up. Um, what? Believe it or not, the things I've done to try to talk to spirits have either consisted of paying money or giving personal info to strangers. The animal method has been the safest option I've taken so far. Terry, I have no words for what just happened. You just said words. Don't be a smartass. I'm not trying to. I was just simply telling you that you had words after saying that you didn't have any words. I was just trying to, you know... That's what being a smartass is! Okay, look. You know you know what? You, you, you can't just throw an animal corpse into fire without letting us know, okay? Look, I mean, look at Herculano! The guy is traumatized! Pathetic. But will you just, like, let us know next time? I feel like that's fair. We'll do. Yeah. So, um, what are you gonna try next? Oh, well, uh, we're gonna meet up with a drug dealer. By drug dealer, do you mean like weed or like heroin and needles and crack and shit? Are yeah. needles and heroin the same? I don't know. Uh, I don't really do drugs. Is it heroin? But it's not a drug, but it's like kind of like a drug. Okay, so like he said that it's how we've seen ghosts many times before. Uh -huh. um, he sees ghosts with these drugs. Terry, I am very uncomfortable with this. I'm sorry, Hap. Do you want to stay in the car? Or oh, no. No. No, we're not going to stay in the car. We're not pussies, guys. Look, you literally were sleeping two nights long at night. That's irrelevant. I think it's really relevant. No, it's not relevant. We're, we're not pussies. We're getting out of the car. We're going to meet the drug dealer. We're going to get the drugs. Come on, guys. Get in the car, Terry. Get in the car, Terry. Yo, 
Devin, how's it going, brother? Yeah, I can dog just a lot, bro. Not too much. It's good, yeah. Hi, um, I'm Richard. Fucking gross. I, I know. Okay. That's gross. I, I agree. Guys, I'm not. I watch tonight. Just agree. I'm standing right here. <clears throat> anyway, the drugs. Holy, Holy fuck. Shit. That is drugs. Dude. I didn't remember I had this many. Yeah, um, how much is it for like one? Is that crack? Fifty? Fifty? Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds like a nice yeah, round yeah, number. Yeah, it's like not so expensive but also not so cheap. Yeah. Is that like a good number? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fifty. It's not, Fifty. It's not expensive. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. <clears throat> cool. Well, yo. <clears throat> oh, uh, did you think I was gonna pay for all that? Oh, I thought that was the plan. No, 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 no. That was actually not the plan. Hundred percent not the plan. In no universe am mm -hmm. I doing that. This is racist. Are you racist? What? No, racist. I'm not racist. How am I racist? He's Hispanic. You're Caucasian. Do the math, Whitey. That's, that's a very good point. I'm not that's good at math. Really that's not a good point at all. I'm not racist. I have, I have several friends who aren't Ooh, white. Several. Several. So many. <laughs> He's a joke, dude. <laughs> this guy's a clown. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny, dude. I'm not paying for your drugs. Um, well, no, I was gonna say something. Um, and that is how we got in this documentary. I'm like uh, David Attenborough, except I. Sell narcotics out of my car. What happened to your hat? Is that a hat? It was pretty. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, bud. So, uh, what does this drug look like? Uh, you guys ever seen a Listerine can? Yeah. It's not even remotely similar. It's not. It's oh. a different ball game. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, uh, can we can we see it? Of course you can see it. Even though Terry has been kind of an asshole to me, I knew I had to do the right thing. Well, um, I I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Watch your step. Man. Yeah, I guess. All good. All right. Sure. I'm good. All right. Yeah. I'm cool. I mean, Watch your stuff. They're not. Alright man. Okay. Have fun. See how it is. <laughs> I, I don't, so. Alright. Alright, bye. You're cool man. Um you're not good, uh, tri I mean uh, uh, just not no, just turn it to the side, the top. The, yeah, there you go. Door? Top yeah. door, man. It, it, it's just the door. It's the top oh, door. door. It's just the door. The tough door! The regular old door. Oh my boy. Alright. Did he do finger guns? He did. Did he do some stupid ass hair technique? Yeah, it's, it's terrible. Yeah, no, it's like too short on the sides. It's like Let's see what he did it with a piece of glass. Yeah, it just looks like a like a wannabe soldier, like somebody who just too close to join the army, you know? All oh, right, yeah. Uh, did you? Are you sure that this is gonna help me sleep in bed and talk better? Yeah, dude. You'll be fucking chilling with it, then. All right, well, here I come. Yeah, LSD is a fucking awesome drug. I love it. I do it often. Uh, by the way, I've been meaning to ask you guys this. Do you do you know Samuel L. Jackson? Do you guys know Samuel L. Jackson? Samuel, ringing any bells? Why was the front door locked? 
What are you still doing up? You know what? Never mind. Where's Terry? Yeah. Yo, Terry. Hey. You good? It's an ugly donkey. Oh, How are you? Donkey? Doing? Really? I like donkeys. Or whatever. Has anyone seen my night lights? You? You're not gonna talk. You, you're just gonna. You're just gonna point. I'm surrounded by assholes. What the fuck, dude? This is Terry with a woman. I got some questions for that man. Guys. Guys, I'm in prison. I didn't do it. I didn't even do it, Richard. What? I didn't even do I'm not. I'm not meant for jail, man. <laughs> Dude, you're on the stairs. <laughs> there's a key. So you gotta find the key, man. There's a key? key somewhere. Yeah, there's a key, man. There's a key, Richard. I can't. I'm not gonna make it in jail, man. Can we talk about how the hat just appeared back on his head? For Terry to wake up, he had a long night, so we're letting him sleep in. But once he wakes up, oh, <laughs> we are gonna ask him some questions about that woman. Uh, that wasn't pretty. Hey, Terry. Long night. Yeah. Did you see any ghosts? Definitely not. Did see talking donkey though. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, weird question, but why did you lie about not having any love interests? What? Well, you see, I asked if you had any women in your life, or uh. And you said you didn't, so... Yeah, and I wasn't lying? Really? Are you sure? Yep. I haven't dated since my wife left me, so... Oh. Uh, sorry. All good. Hey, I didn't see any ghosts. Well, yeah, I didn't mean actual ghosts, man. I meant hallucinations. What? Well, how are any of those the same thing? Look at the tomatoes. You, you can't compare the two. As I've just learned. Alright, dude, but you can't say you didn't have a good time. You had a good time. You had a good time. All right, yeah, I did have a good yeah, time. Yeah, dude. yeah. Fucking good yeah, night. Right. Fun yeah. night. Yeah. Now, we did some plus on this bitch. Uh, well, I have to discover the plus. Not the same thing, but Dis it's not even remotely close. Are you a fucking science teacher? <laughs> Discovery plus. Yeah. I want to watch David Attenborough and fucking go to bed while I'm I was, awake. I was hoping Bill Nye. Bill Nye, but he wasn't there. Fucking joke, dude. That experience was sick. What can I say, man? I'm the drug whisperer. Um, unrelated, but did, I guess you, you did know Sam Jackson, or you didn't. Like, any leads, even loosely, to Sam? I want to show him this impression I've been working on for like a year or two now. I've been like workshopping it. Do you guys want to hear it? For sure. Yeah. 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 Are you absolutely sure? Because it's pretty dynamite. And it might even, you know, it might knock your socks off. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ready? <coughs> Come on, 
English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? That was it. Sorry. Great character. Was he good? Was he... People are... People are saying he's good. So. Alright, Terry. What's the plan for the lady? Well, uh... I have a lot of ideas. So I cut an actual medium, and we go to meet up with them. Alright then. Let's roll out. Like an auto bomb. So, uh, you guys want to buy some drugs? No. We, we don't want any drugs. Is this, uh, medium real? Hopefully, or you just lost $30. <laughs> what? <laughs> I really hope this guy is the real deal. This could be my chance. Ah, you must be Terry? No, that's this guy. He's, that's Terry. Oh, sorry. You must be Terry. How did you know that? Can you be me? Uh, do you have ID on you? I don't read anyone who's under 18. Yeah, dude, no problem. Put it in my pocket. Damn. Ah, I divine that your name must be Devin. <clears throat> dude, this guy's a little <clears throat> fucking real. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I think we should go now. Why? Why is he walking? Come on. Sorry for wasting your time. No problem. Thank you for your money. No refund. Understandable. Have a nice day. Saw that in the card. Right. Hey. You all right? I'm gonna go talk to Terry for a few minutes, so just uh, chill out here, guys. Don't do any drugs. What's up? What do you think he's so hissy about? Throwing a little hissy fit. Ooh. Crying over there by the tree. Dude, I'm hungry. Are you guys hungry? I need some fucking Burger King or something, dude. I need some chicken fries in my mouth yesterday. Oh, wait, no, they have shamrock shakes. That's out right now, right? I brought it back. I get a shamrock shake, dude. Get my shamrock on. What's going on here? I told you to turn the cameras off. Cameras went off? No? Yeah, so I may or may not have lied about thinking I thought the ghost was cool. Um, so my wife died about two years ago. And, uh, yeah, we got to like this big fight and
So, you know, I... I just want to talk to her again. Yeah, so, uh... I made some calls, and I actually managed to find someone who is the real deal when it comes to becoming a medium. Yeah. That's right, uh... I guess I can be a nice guy sometimes, huh? Uh, where are we going? Well, uh, I made some calls and uh, found a medium who's apparently the real deal. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Is this guy here? Yeah. Thank you. I just want more to say, man. Like, that means a lot, dude. Yeah, no problem, man. Oh, by the way, I uh, found this picture in your drawer. Oh, dude, thanks, man. Yeah. Just, uh... I'm gonna change my shirt real quick and head in. Alright, cool. That's nice of you. I don't know what he left the last guy, dude. That was the real deal. I don't know why he left the last guy. Okay. Don't scoff at me. I <laughs> rock. This guy sucks, dude. <laughs> I don't even know. Fakest shit I've ever seen. That was Please fake. do come inside. Make yourselves welcome. Oh, fuck. Got a PA system or something. I'm gonna oh, store. Okay. Me first. Hello? Hello? Who goes there? I'm so scared. It's just a house, dude. It's a normal, regular house. Make your way downstairs where your future awaits. It's scoliosis walking around this shit. Welcome, my anticipated guests. I've been expecting you. The table you see in the middle is where we will be contacting the afterlife. Now I must warn you, contacting the afterlife is no joking matter. Although rare, things can go wrong. And fast. With that being said, this is your last warning before we begin. Good. Now, let's begin. Terry, you may sit. Everyone else, you can gather around the table. I'm Terry. Hello, Terry. Oh, uh, hello. Milena. Hello, Milena. Look, lady, if you're the real deal, right, why don't you tell me what my name is? It's Devin. I prefer the other guy. Why are you staring at me? I sense a great pain in you. I'm sorry for your loss. I, um, thanks. I can't make you a medium, Terry. It's something that you're born with. You can't simply gain it. But I can help you talk to who you want to talk to. Not for very long, but enough to say what you want to say. Oh, uh, I... Thank you, this this means so much. Let me just keep this fire going, and then we'll get started. I am really nervous. Like, super nervous. I don't even know what I'm going to say to her. It's been so long. I did not think this far ahead. Whoa! Whoa, what are you whoa, whoa, doing? What? What'd she do? She just threw a mouse into the fire! Wait, what? Yeah! I tried that with a bat and it didn't work. It's because you're not a medium. Huh! Would you look at that, you idiot! 
It's still weird as hell. Okay? Are you gonna run in terror this time? Or. Thank God he's dead. Uh... Damn it! Okay, Terry. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, I think I am. All right, I need the two of you to come and sit. Yeah, of course, no problem. Wait, was, was I one of the two people you needed? Yes, Devin. Who else could it possibly be? Yes! You were one of the two. Okay, all right. Chill the fuck out a little bit, okay? Get the chill pill every now and then. What's going on up there, man? Upstairs? I don't, it's not my house. Dude, no. Up here. Okay, now everybody grab each other's hands. Was pretty sick on him. Please forgive him. He's really kind of um... white. That's what you get to say, right? What? No, I was. Him. No, I was going to say stupid and annoying. Oh, sorry. I'm kind of used to you being a bigot. Oh, yeah, he's he's racist. No, like, no, really racist. Nope. Yeah. He's wrong. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not racist at all, actually. Oh, right. Yeah, he's not. Um, no, he isn't racist. I'm not. <laughs> He's not racist. I'm not racist. He's not racist. Forgot the... What happened? Will this still work if I pop the squat? Yes. What? Yeah, pop this back up. Let's get comfortable. Fuck. Are you kind of tall? I'm so sorry about him. He's really tall. Yeah, no problem. Okay, now everybody grab each other's hands. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't really care about you. Now, Devin and Richard. Wait, I... wait. Why is Devin's name going first? I'm way cooler than him, and more important, by the way. Thank God. I think you're cooler. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry. All right, Devin, Richard, you need to listen carefully. You can't let Terry's hands go. They can't even slip an inch. If it does, he'll lose all connection to the spirit world. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Yep. And no talking. He needs to be fully concentrated. Now, Terry, the connection has been made. The rest is up to you. Just get to a place of complete relaxation. Do you understand? Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> can't, dude. I can't. I just can't. It's just... Ugh. Terry, just clear your mind and concentrate. You can do this. <sighs> Lisa, I... Oh my god, Lisa. Are you okay? Are you safe? Are you somewhere good? Are you... Okay. Okay, good. I'm glad. Lisa, I'm... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. I'm so sorry for the fight. I'm so sorry for the yelling. I'm so sorry to get to live a full life. I'm so sorry. You should have been me. I should have been the one to go, not you. So lost without you, I have no fucking direction. I just I want to see you again. I want to, I want to hug you. I want to I want to kiss you. I want to. I want to.
worst part is I can't. I didn't even get to say it okay. Can't wait to see you again. I love you a lot. I love you so much. I love you so much. Will you just let go of your hand? You want? I can't see her anymore. Yeah, the itch my nose, itchy nose. Really bad. Yikes. You all right, man? You know, I I think I am. Good. What happened? Shut the fuck up, man. Seriously? This fucking guy. Alright, so round two, run it up again. I really don't want to hold your hand right now, man. Like, at all. Make him hold my hand. Thank you so much, Marina. I. I don't know what I would have done. You could help me get closure. Yeah, of course. Um, should we talk payment options? You hear that? That's crazy. That was weird. Wow. What? Uh, I think the car is something wrong with it. You uh, have the keys? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to start the car. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I see what's going on. Um, yeah. Do you do you take Venmo? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. Cool. I, Dope. Your your phone. Yeah. Got you. Thank you again, everyone, for everything. It means so much to me. Yeah, don't mention it, man. I, look, I think we're all just glad you got some closure. Yeah, me too. You guys want to get some fucking Wendy's? <laughs> Hell yeah. On Richard? Fucking why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've learned a lot from this experience. I've learned that uh, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I've learned that drugs can be paid for with an appearance in a documentary. Hell, I even learned that uh, some people might think you're racist, which I'm not. But the biggest lesson I learned from all this is that there are a lot of people who are suffering on the inside, who are battling their own inner thoughts and pretending like everything is okay. But they can be helped if they have just one person in their lives who can just be there for them in a time of need. Who can be there to lend a hand and show them that they are loved. Everyone needs a little help. I have done a lot of stupid things to try and talk to my wife again. And in the end, it was worth it. But in that time, I came to this realization, and that realization is this. Life can be so unfair. The unbelievable can become believable in a matter of seconds, and unfortunately, a full life isn't promised to any of us. I got lucky. I got lucky that I got to tell my wife one last time that I love you. But in the two years that I lived, knowing that I didn't, it killed me. It, it killed me every day, and it, it is a pain that I do not wish upon anybody. We live not knowing when our or even our loved ones' last moments will be. So, any moment that you get, any moment that you feel angry, happy, or sad, it doesn't matter. Grab the person that you love, look them in the eyes, and tell them these three words. I love you. I love you.
Cause there are many things that I would like to say to you But I just don't know how to Each time I try to speak my mind and tell you what you mean to me I get too scared to But I love when your head's caught above your shoulder Love talking about when we get older Love when your sunburned skin gets colder I told you it's hard to admit I love when you make fun of the stupid things I do I do them to put a smile on you Cause honestly that's my favorite part of you That's my favorite part of you That's my favorite part of you But I love when your head rests on my shoulder Love staying in when it gets colder You still make me lose all my composure I told you it's hard to admit I love when you join in That's my favorite part of you. That's my favorite part of you. That's my favorite part of you. Just letting you in, you know what I mean? Even just a little bit, even in passing. I wish that Samuel Jackson saw me on the street, saw my face, and he was like, "Hey, that's my friend. That's my friend Devin. That's my good. That's my good friend Devin. That's my best friend Devin. It's Nick Fury. You know what I mean? Fucking dope eye patch. That guy barks orders at the Avengers, and they do his bidding. Mace Windu." Fucking purple lightsaber. Only purple lightsaber in the movie canon. Rad for obvious reasons. Don't even need to elaborate. If you knew Samuel Jackson, you would be the fucking king of your school. You'd be a champion. Wait, you're still in school? Yeah. Freshman. High school's gonna be great. <laughs>